Hey guys, Chad here. Um, going to actually talk about <coughs> pinning, and the reason I'm doing this video is because this is going to be the first time I've ever pinned um, pewter models to resin bases, and actually first time I've ever pinned anything to a resin base in general. And for those of you that watched my Black Templar video, these are the resin bases that I got from Dragon Forge Design. I already painted them up, put some static grass on them, uh, finished my last uh, model, which was Grimaldus. And once I'm done with the painting process, I'll do a little uh, display video at the end of this one as well, just showing this uh, unit squad or whatever finally completed. And I've been working on this one off and on for actually a couple months, kind of doing other things in between. But all in all, that uh, Grimaldus and his uh, retinue was probably the most enjoyable uh, uh, painting, paint, painting, okay, painting experience that I've actually had in the hobby so far. There, there were just so many details, and they were just a lot of fun to paint. And I tried a lot of different techniques too. But so I've got my bases here, my resin bases, my four uh, pewter miniatures. I've got a drill bit, uh, my pin uh, vise here. Um, what I use for pinning is actually the uh, solder so I'm gonna use that for my actual pins I've got super glue and I've got some uh, some uh, bright colored paint here which I'm actually using blue ice and I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that so the first thing I've got to do is get to my uh, uh, pins into my models first uh, for most of these, I'm just going to do a single pin because if you look at the bottom of them, uh, there's not a lot of space anyways. So I'm just going to do single pin, single pin, single pin. Then Grimaldus is a bit heavier of a model and the base is bigger, so I'll probably do two pins on that. So I'm going to go ahead and drill out my holes in the bottom of the models to place the pin in. I'm not going to do that on camera. Um, it's, it's not that hard. As a matter of fact, I think you see some of my other videos I've done it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a, a good spot, drill straight up through it, and then um, cut off a bit of my uh, solder, place it in there with glue, let that set up, and move on from there. So I'm going to go ahead and get the uh, pins placed into the models, and then I'll be right back. All right, I've got all the uh, holes in the uh, base. Let me see if I can zoom in here. So I've got all the holes drilled for my uh, pins on the bottom of my models here. Did a single one for each of the smaller models and then did two of them for Grimaldus himself. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and snip off a little, let's zoom back out focus back out. I'm going to snip off little bits and glue them into here. Let the glue set and then I'm going to snip them all off at about the same size from the model. Um, I'm not going to say a particular size. Basically it's going to depend on the bases, you know, what you're doing, uh, what type of bases you're using and <clears throat> basically, you know, how deep you want them to go. Uh, with the resin bases, I'm not going to be drilling all the way through. Um, if you see my other videos where I use the uh, the uh, regular plastic bases, I drill all the way through and I actually let the solder come through. Then I bend it over just to add some weight to the base anyways. But I mean, you know, this base here weighs probably more than this actual model does. So I'm not worried too much about the weight. So I'm going to go ahead snip them off glue them in here let that glue set up and then I'll be back to show you where I'm going to place the actual points on the bases which is where the paints gonna come in so be right back I decided to go ahead and uh, mention one other thing here um, you can see you know how small I've done the uh, pins I'm actually going to place the super glue on the pin but before I do that go ahead and test fit it you know make sure that your pins gonna actually fit into the hole because if you get glue on there and it doesn't fit well now you got a whole nother can of worms <clears throat> so I'm just gonna apply 
a little bit of my super glue gel here all around the base of this so that as it slides in there it's going to catch all around inside that hole. And just make sure it's pushed in as far as it'll go. And that's it. Simple as that. Now like I said, once I uh, let this set up, I'll snip quite a bit of this off, but I'd rather have a little extra on here. I mean, the solder's cheap anyways. I mean, I'll get hundreds of pins out of this uh, single spool, but I'll snip quite a bit of this off and then um, dip it into the paint, which I'll show you and mark where I'm actually going to be um, putting it on the base. So I'll be right back. All right, so all four models have had their pins inserted, glued, and then trimmed up. And just to give you an idea, focus in. That's all that I've left on there. And that's going to be plenty enough to glue on there and put into the base. So here's what I'm going to do with the light colored paint. I'm just going to dip the pin into it so that there's a little bit of glue or a little bit of paint on there. And I'm going to use that for my guide. So I've actually marked the base. Where I'm going to drill. So I'm going to do that to all four models and bases and drill them out and be right back. All right, got the uh bases all drilled out now. So as you can see, there was my mark with the blue paint and then my hole. So all that's left is just to put some glue on the end of my pen and put it in there. Now on this, I put the glue on pretty liberally because when it goes in, whatever is excess is just going to squish up to the uh, model anyways and help hold it in place. And there he is. So I'm going to go ahead and do that to the other three models. And that's going to be pretty much it. I guess I'll zoom in here. You guys can see there's not a whole lot of gap under there or anything else. And I placed it so that his boot was kind of coming up on this other piece of ruin here. So that's it. I mean, that thing's going to be pretty solid. So once I finish this up. Um, I'll do a little uh, display uh, turntable so you guys can see this uh, squad finally finished and like I said it was a lot of fun to do. Um, I tried a lot of new techniques along the way doing these four guys so hopefully uh, get knocking out some of the other uh, projects uh, from my previous video that I did a couple weeks back. Um, got quite a few projects for 2011 here but this was one of them so this one's gonna be finished up and once this is done I've got my Marshall to uh, finish up for my Black Templars and then I've got to uh, get the uh, Tyranid update going and um, finish uh, stripping off the used ones I've got for those so be right back guys <laughs> 